there everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this quick and easy granny stripe pattern. Now once you've learned this technique you can go ahead and make blankets, scarves, whatever it is that you want to make. Now once you've started off this is literally made up using a two row repeat. Now this is fantastic for using up your stash. Here I've changed every fourth row, you could change every two or even every one. It's entirely up to you, it depends on what yarn you have. So I'm going to start you off showing you that two row repeat. I'll then show you how to change colour then we'll fasten off but obviously you can go out as far as you want I'll explain about the stitch count on your starting chain and then you can carry on up if you like make a nice scarf this is ideal for blankets cushions all sorts of different projects so grab a hook let's get going so for today's example, I'm just using up some of my stash of DK weight yarn. What I will do is I'll pop all the colours. This is Starcraft Special DK, you know how I love that yarn. I will put all of the colours and of my example swatch in that description box down below. I'm going to be using my four and a half millimetre hook. Now normally with a DK weight yarn. I use a four millimeter, but just so that you can see the stitches better, and I need this to be quite a nice loose stitch, I'm gonna be using my four and a half. Now we're just going to start by putting a slip knot on our hook. Now you can do this however you normally do. This is how I do mine. So I wrap my yarn around those two fingers, pulling that yarn across, I go up, grab that yarn, take my fingers out, and I'm on my hook. Now our starting chain needs to be in multiples of three. So you can go ahead and just make a chain however you want the width of your work to be. So, so if you're making a blanket, just keep chaining three until you get to the width that you want. For this example, I'm going to chain 24. So we're just going to make our chain however long you want. So I've got three, four, five, six, 23 and 24. Okay, then you're going to add another two chains. That's going to be our turning chain. So I've added two. So if you're just making the same example as me, you should have a chain of 26. So now we're going to work along our chain. In the third chain along, so you have one, two and three, in this chain here, we're going to put in our UK double, so that's a US single. So a UK double, just for a recap, is just push through, grab your yarn, pull through, so you've got one, two loops, grab your yarn, pull through two. So we're going to go along this chain. In each of those chains, we're going to be putting in are UK doubles. So once you've put all of your doubles in, your work should just look like this. If you want to recap, just count your stitches. Because we had our turning chain of two at the beginning, you should have your original amount. So as I chained 24, I'll now have 24 stitches. So you can just now go along and have a recount. But we're now going to start the first row of our two row repeat. So before we start our work, we're going to chain three. So that's one, two and three. We're then going to turn our work. Now in this first stitch, where this chain of three is coming out of, we're going to put in one UK treble and that's one US double. So just as a recap, a UK treble is yarn over first, 
go into that stitch, grab your yarn, pull through. So you have one, two, three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull through two, grab your yarn and pull through two. So with this turning chain, it looks in effect as if we have two stitches going in that first stitch there. Now what we're going to do is work along. We're going to miss one, two stitches. In this next stitch here, we're going to do a cluster of three trebles. So again, yarn over, push through, grab your yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two. In this same stitch, we're going to do two more trebles. So that's another treble. And in that same stitch, you're going to put a third treble. We're going to carry on. We're going to miss the next one, two stitches out. In this next stitch along here, we're going to put our next cluster of three trebles. So that's one, two and three. We're going to miss the next one, two stitches along. In this next stitch, you've guessed it, we're putting another cluster of three trebles. So that's one, two, and three. So this is how we're going to work along. We're going to miss two, then you have a cluster of three, miss two, cluster of three, all the way along. I will meet you here at the end. You should end up with two more stitches and that turning chain here. And I will show you how to finish off this row. So I've worked along putting in my clusters. I should be left with one, two stitches. And then if we, if you remember, we started with a chain one, two up. What I want to do in the top of that chain two, so this stitch here, we're going to put in two trebles. So just Find that chain as best you can. You may need to use your darning needle just to push in to start with. My work's coming out quite nice and loose, so I'm just fine. Now, if you remember, when we started this row, we started with this chain and a stitch. So, in effect, we started with two stitches and we've finished with two stitches. So just remember this, this is the row one of our two row repeat. In the next row, you will notice we just start and finish with one stitch. So that will help you as you work up to see which row you're on. So to start the second row of our two row repeats, we're going to chain up three. Then we're going to turn our work. Now you can see this space here from the row before. We're just going to put our cluster of three straight into that space there. So that's two, three. As we work along, we're just going to find our next space from the row before. We're not chaining in between clusters, we're literally going to jump into that space and put another cluster of three. Moving along, you're going to find your next space another cluster of three.
Now you're going to work all the way along in each space. You're going to put a cluster of three trebles and then I will meet you at this final space here. So I've worked all the way along. I have another final space here to work my three clusters. So that's one. Oops. One yawn. And that's two. And three. Now, where we have this original one, two, three chain up here, we're literally just going to hop across to this chain and put one treble in. So, if you remember, so if you remember when we started this row, we chained up. So, in effect, we started with one stitch and then we will end this row with one stitch. And this is how it will go up. So the next row will start with a chain and a stitch, which will count as two stitches. So now we've come to the end of our row two of this two row repeat. So what I'm going to do is talk you through that row repeats one more time. Then when we're up here, I'll show you how we change colour. So we're going to repeat this row here. We're going to chain three up. We're going to flip our work. If we look at the this row down here, we need to put another treble in that first stitch. So it looks as if we have started with two stitches. We can now jump to this space here made by the row before and put in our first cluster of three. One, two and three. Again, working along, find that next space, put in your cluster of three. One, two and three. Again, moving to the next space, put in another cluster of three and then just work your way across. All the way across using those spaces to put in your clusters and I will meet you here. So I've worked across and what we need to do as we started with in effect two stitches, we're going to end with two stitches. What you need to do is just check one, two rows below and you're going to be doing the same. So what I need to do is identify one, two, my third chain up. In that third chain, we're going to put in two trebles. And there you finished another row. Now I'm going to show you the second row of this two row repeat. We're going to start by chaining up three, one, two and three. We're going to flip our work. We're going to start the same as one, two rows down. So this chain is going to count as this first stitch here. We're going to jump to this first space. We're going to start our clusters. One, two and three. We're going to move to the next space. Do our cluster of three. Then you're going to put in those clusters of three in each space going along and I will meet you again at the end. Again, I've worked along. I'm going to, in this final space here, we're going to do our cluster of three. 
two and three. Again, checking at the beginning, we started with one stitch. We're going to end with one stitch. We're going to count up, find the top of that chain three, and then in the top of there, we're just going to put one treble. So that's how the repeat goes all the way up. You can see we're keeping our edges nice and straight. Now, if you do struggle to find out where that chain three is, when you get to your edge, it may pay to use a stitch marker. So if you have one of these little stitch markers, what you can do, you can, when you do your chain three up, you could then, at that stage, before turning, just mark your chain three. Then when you turn your work, work along. When you come back, you're going to know where your chain three is. So you could do this at either end. That's in case you have a problem just finding that chain three up. But what I'm going to do now, I'm literally going to fasten off this colour. So I'm taking my yarn back. I'm going to do a chain one up. Cut my yarn. Then I'm going to pull that through and just cinch that knot down. And I've finished my first colour. So this is how I change colour. I have put another slip knot on my hook of our next colour. I'm going to find my last stitch from the row before. Just ignore that little knot where we fastened off. I'm going to join by using a slip stitch. So I'm going to go through that stitch, grab my yarn, pull through and the one that is on my hook. And I've joined my colour. So we're going to start again with a chain three, so that's two and three. We're going to turn our work. So what I always like to do is just double check with two rows below. We're going to start by having, in effect, two stitches. So this chain counts as one stitch. In that same stitch, we're going to put another treble. Then we're going to start working our clusters across. I've worked across in my new colour. Again, as I get towards the end, I like to just double check two rows down. I finished with these two stitches here, so we need to do that again. So in this original chain three up, you could have used your stitch marker if you're unsure on each row, so you know exactly where to jump to. I'm going to put in two trebles. So that's one and two. So then we're ready to chain three and flip our work once again. Again, checking two rows down. We just started with this chain three. What I'm going to do is jump to this space here and I'm going to start my clusters. So what you can do is carry on. I'm going to do another two rows of this colour after this one so that I can just show you that colour change one more time and then I think you're going to be away. So just carry on and I'll meet you again when I've done another couple of rows of this colour. As I say, just to show you that colour change again and then you're on your own. <laughs> So as you can see, I've done another four rows using that lovely blue colour. I've fastened off and I've put my new, this lovely yellow colour on my hook using a slip knot. 
Again, what I'm going to do, that last stitch from the row before, I'm going to go through and join with a slip stitch. So just take it through the one that's on your hook. And I'm going to start again, so chain three. Flipping my work and then just trying to mind that out of the way. I'm going to have to weave these ends in, how annoying. Um, I'm going to put another treble in that stitch. Okay, and then I'm just going to work as I did before putting in those clusters. I'm going to finish this stripe of yellow and then I'm just going to show you what how I like to finish off my work. So if you are making this into a scarf or a blanket, I will then come back and show you how I finish mine off. So carry on however many stripes you want to add to your project and I'll meet you back here shortly. So as you can see, I've finished another four rows of this lovely yellow. I've woven in my ends because they were starting to annoy me. So I literally, when I weave in my ends, I flip my work and then use the back of these shells just to hide those ends. I tend to go to and throw three times. So I have woven in my ends. Now, if you remember when we started, we started with a row of UK doubles. So all I'm going to do when I finish, just to neaten it off here, is do another row of the UK doubles. So I'm just going to chain up one. I'm going to flip my work and then I'm literally in the tops of those stitches going to put in those UK doubles. So just as a recap, that's US singles. So just the tops of those stitches all the way along. And I will meet you to fasten off. And to fasten off, as always, we just chain one up. We're going to snip our yarn, pull that through and cinch down our knot. So there you go, the lovely granny stripe. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you do have a go, do leave me some comments down below. Let us know how you got on. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you here next time. Bye bye.